Okay, this is just a follow-up to the unboxing of the Elegoo, which I have parked over there until I got the enclosure. Here is the unboxing of the enclosure, in case anybody is curious what it's like and what's involved. It's just going to be a quick video. It's a nice slim box. And yeah, just packaging, and this is the actual enclosure. Ugh. Pretty big, but I guess it has to be. And you know, it's easy to store if you're gonna put it away. And what's the okay? First impressions is uh, yeah, it's like something like uh, one of those fold out boxes you put in the back of your car trunk or boots. Seems pretty strong, uh, decent, decent quality. What's in here? Oh, right. We got that to vent, we got some tools, and what's this? This is for venting for, yeah, this is, uh, it comes with a fan to exhaust out. Very simple, very basic, but hopefully effective. And that's pretty much it. Let's quickly put this together. Maybe this is going to be more than just unboxing, it's going to be a short setup video. And there's no instructions, um, and there's very little tools, it's just these screws that go for the fan, so this must be involved here. Oh, actually this maybe fits here? I'm not sure. The first thing to do is to, I guess, open everything up so we can try and figure out what to do. It's just going to be a giant cube, right? So, should be straightforward, theoretically. Okay, and there's a layer here to peel off. Oh, I don't know what's the best to do, peel or cut. Right. Should I tape this? This is really difficult to remove without there being like um, mess around the edges, so I just scored it with a scalpel and then it just peeled right off. The Velcro goes on top, so this is correct. So I'm just gonna have to take this apart. Oh. Flip this around, so this is on top, so this goes on this side. Okay, I lined it better. And I think that's it. Oh. Yeah, there's no more Velcro on here. This is definitely the right side up, because there's a pocket here. Paces this way. And back here is where the ventilation is. You open that up, and this will be mounted here, and then this will be attached to it, and this is how you can vent out. I'm not sure what these holes are for, but four, it came with four of these, and it looks like it's for mounting something. Maybe you know, maybe you can mention in the comments. But again, no instructions, so I'm not sure. Okay, let's hope this can go directly over... My Elegoo over here without a problem. Oh, do fix it. And there we go. I got a huge gap underneath here. As you can see, so that's not good. But yeah, limited workshop space. And I think the final thing here is to just put these in here. So I don't know. It's supposed to stay up. I'm not sure. Is that what this is for? It doesn't seem to stay up very well. Just like, that's the maximum <laughs> height. And like that. And the exhaust is out there, so I'm gonna have to attach it to go outside here. In fact, this whole thing's probably gonna move over to the right. Um, so it's like in the corner. And maybe I can put something underneath here. To close that gap. And there you have it, if I've done it correct, that is, oops, the Elegoo Fecta enclosure. It is much larger than the actual Fecta. There we go. So I actually ended up uh, completely changing the enclosure, as you can see here, but I was like, okay, let's start uh, laser engraving and cutting and experimenting, and I noticed that uh, the blue laser is still coming through, but uh, not with the glosses. So I actually went online and double-checked, says shield your eyes from harmful lasers, 
um, on the Elegoo uh, Effective website for the enclosure. Then I just checked in with the community online on the Facebook group, and they said, yeah, you pretty much should not trust uh, the enclosure for like blocking all the, the light out through the uh, the windows. Uh, they seemed pretty nonchalant about it, like they weren't surprised. Uh, but for me, I, I don't, this is my, my first laser engraver, I don't know anything. I, I was kind of like, oh man, I totally thought this enclosure would, uh, you know, protect I ended up contacting uh, Elegoo and just uh, telling them about my concern, and I they asked for a video, and I just showed them, and I I, I don't think I guess they seemed surprised. They sent it to the engineers, and uh, they did actually change the uh, wording on the uh, website, as you can see here. Uh, they no longer say um, they no longer say it shields your eyes, so you can directly look at it. So they changed the wording slightly, but just a note that don't be like me and think that this will completely stop uh, the, any laser diffraction from going to your eyes. This actually made me rethink, um, you know, I just need to get a new enclosure or a completely new laser engraver that's class one because I don't want it to, you know, just people walk into the room and have to worry about, uh, you know, the, the eyeballs getting lasered out. I don't know, it's very unlikely, but yeah, I just wanted that extra step in safety. So I uh, went looking for another laser engraver, to be honest, after all that work. So hopefully you enjoyed, at least got an idea of what to expect with this enclosure. If you do want to check out the uh, video uh, mm -hmm. where I quickly whipped together this enclosure in the, the, the corner of my wall here in the workshop uh, where I have a shelf, and I just use the front panel of the enclosure, then just, I guess, click on this link. And uh, thank you for watching.